Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be looking at a brand new Pokemon available for us all to catch in the wild area for another limited period of time. So we had the Eevee event last week, the G-Max Eevee. The week before that we had G-Max Pikachu, and this week... I'm pretty sure all of you can guess what we're going to get, and it is going to be that G-Max Meowth. So, without further ado, let's hop over to our trusty source in Cerebi and take a look at the details here for this particular event. Because, as you can see, it is running from today, which is May the 25th, until the 1st of June, which will be next Monday. So, we've got the same. We've got a week to catch this Pokemon. Um, again, it was one of the, the Pokemon that was a kind of an exclusive early on in uh, the release with sword and shield and if you missed that unfortunately it wasn't available anywhere else in the game so it's nice to be able to have this opportunity to get this pokemon especially if you missed that event or if you got the games a bit later um as you can see the one star and two star and three star are all the same um you're gonna yeah there's no real special items you're gonna get here um other than you've got a 30 percent chance to get a big nugget, 30% uh, for a regular nugget and um, obviously 30% for the rare bone there. So the only reason I'm mentioning these is um, because that you can sell them for quite a lot of money, which is quite nice if you're just cycling through these these raids and, and catching a lot of them. There's a good chance you're going to end up with a lot of nuggets that you can sell and, and you know use that money for other things, which is really useful. Um, but we get down to the five star. Obviously, everything is exactly the same in sword and shield. Um, and you can see, other than that, there isn't really too much about it. Uh, I would imagine the Meowth is going to have access to its hidden ability. I'm not 100% sure on that. But hopefully when we get into the game and we catch one, we can have a look and hopefully maybe get one of those. Um, but yeah. I think the big thing here is just a quick one today, really, that um, the event is running from the 25th of May to the 1st of June. And then we'll get something brand new next Tuesday, which will probably be the final thing for us leading up into the release of the DLCs, which hopefully are very soon. Uh, still haven't had a confirmed date, but it be um, hopefully we get something this week be amazing if we do if we do i'll obviously be covering it as well so do stay tuned for that um so once we're back in the game as always what you need to do is just go to your um, mystery gift you want to get wild area news you'll connect to the internet and once you have it will do its little thing update and that is that so we did have an eevee in our den here but now, it should be a Meowth, which is amazing. Okay, um, the other thing I'm going to do before we jump into this battle is there are actually um, mystery gifts running as well for, uh, a, well, a limited period of time, which is quite good. We've got um, Pokemon are running, Get Mr. Mime, Ponytack, Corsola, Meowth, and with their hidden abilities. So uh, these are going to be running every week. So the first one is actually running right now. Um, which is the Galarian Mr. Mime. Uh, it has its hidden ability, Ice Body, um, and it will be running. I think all of these run until the 29th of June. I'm pretty sure that's when they run till. Um, I will definitely find out and post an update, if not down in the, the comment section. Um, but what you can do, you get a bunch of Pokemon balls as well. Um, and obviously the Galarian Ponytail will be run next week with more balls. Galarian Corsola with the following week with evolution items and then the final week will be glaring meowth um which would be really cool and you get 100 xp candies and 50 large nuggets so that is the one that you want to be going for um and this is a complete tangent here uh that i'm going along and covering this but i just wanted to do it before we get into the den so what you want to do is come into your mystery gift and um, get via the internet um and then it should just pop up literally I'll just search, do its thing, and uh, there we go, yeah. And then we'll get Clary and Mr. Mime and a bunch of Pokeballs. So you can do this as well, um, and just do it every week. But like I say, that final week with the Clary and Meow, that's the one you want to be getting. Because those 100 large candies are going to be so useful for leveling up, especially for the DLC. Um, I'll, I'll come... Yeah, I'll come back. I don't know what that is. I'll come back for that one later. Um, but more importantly, we need to get back into this and uh, see if we can get ourselves this Meowth. So we'll jump in and we'll have a look what we get with it. But yeah, 
I think it's an it's been a nice event to have in the 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 wild area the last three weeks with these Pokemon. I've probably enjoyed the Pikachu one the, out of, out of all three the most because of the lightning rod ability that we got with G Max Pikachu. Um, I just yeah, I'm interested to see what they do next for because uh, I'm I'm hoping still that we we get some. You know, maybe the the fossils with their hidden abilities before we get the DLCs. I mean, that would be incredible, but I I'm not holding my breath for that. I think that's something that we'll probably get with the DLCs or um, a, a lot later on uh, is an event. Maybe a year down the line. I hope not a year. Who knows? Who knows when we'll get them? But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do next. Obviously, next Tuesday they will be doing another event um, in the wild area. Um, and hopefully that is the one that is going to be leading up to the DLCs. And there we go, Meowth is down. So we are going to be able to catch this thing. Uh, the catch rates are probably exactly the same as they have been throughout. So not the best. I just want to guarantee it. Uh, repeat ball should give us the best chance of catching this Pokemon. Um, yeah, and have fun with it. I, I presume that it's not going to be... You're not going to be able to evolve this Meowth um, like you were the, the Eevee. Um... Or the Pikachu, so I would imagine it's it's locked from evolving, which is a little bit unfortunate. But uh, if you want an Alolan Persian, um, sorry, a Kanto Persian, uh, you can breed it from this Pokemon and get yourself just a regular Meowth that you would be able to evolve um, that way. So for for those reasons, it's kind of useful. So we've got ours is just a four star. So we've got the candies. Um, we've got a rare candy, which is quite good, and a regular nugget, sleep talk, focus energy, and sword stance. So, I'm not going to scoff at that. That's all right. Uh, it's been added to our party, and we can have a look at it. So, pick up. I'm not even sure if that is a hidden ability or not. I don't know. But anyway, there he is. In all his glory, G Max Meowth. Very good for getting money and farming money uh, because of that G Max move. So, a useful Pokemon. You can do. Uh, the the lead challenge every day and get like a a bunch of cash for doing that. So it's a really good way to um to abuse Meowth's ability with its G Max move. Um, I think that wraps everything up. I probably went on a bit longer than what I wanted to in this one, but I did want to mention the uh, the Mister Mime gift that is running uh, at the minute and the the Rapidash and the other ones. And uh, I will do a reminder of that final one when it does. Him, we'll be back next week to cover the next events and uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed it's something good thanks so much for tuning in hope you have a great day my friends and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye